Terus gue gak bu. You know what? Y'all trying me today. It is what it is. Anyway, what's good, guys? I'm back. I'm back with another story time. This story time. <laughs> yeah. This shit was crazy. I, I think I had to be like, like 12 maybe. I don't even know how old I was. I know I was like in middle school. So, but yeah, that shit was crazy. But let's just get into this shit. Hopefully they stop fucking walking hard as fuck. Anyway, so I think I was walking home from my friend Gabby's house. Now, let me give you a little bit of back information. So when I was younger, um, my parents, excuse my pimple, I'm sorry, I look like shit today. Excuse my pimple. This shit is fucked up because I have to take, like, grad pictures tomorrow and look at this shit. And look at this, and just, anyway. So I think my, so my friend Gabby, um, shout out to Gabby, my best friend Gabby. She lives, what was that? I don't I don't even know what that was. She lives like in walking distance, maybe like 15 minutes away from me. So when I was younger, when I got to a certain age, my parents started, you know, letting me walk from her house and back home. Um, so I think I was coming from her house, I think. And it might've been like midday. I don't really remember exactly all the details, but I do remember a bitch almost got kidnapped. That's the moral of the story. So I was walking home from her house and I have to be at least like 12 or 13. I remember I had my earphones on. I had the old like iPod. I thought it was so cool because I was like the first person to get an iPod like back in like sixth, seventh grade, whatever. And I remember, I remember I was listening to Don't Tell Me by P. Diddy featuring Christina Aguilera. And that beat was bumping. Like it was knocking. I was just like, so I'm walking home. Do pull up in like a... It was a nice car too. It was a really nice car. It was all black. And I can't remember specifically what kind of car it was because I'm not good with cars, but it was black and it was like decked out all nice and do had tenant windows. So, you know, shady already. That's shady. So I'm walking home, you know, tell me. Da, 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 da. Like I'm walking home, do pull up, excuse me. And you know, I'm friendly, I'm friendly as fuck, you know, especially back then, I was more oblivious back then. But like, I knew, like my mom always taught me, don't talk to strangers type situation. But I was like, oh, like blah, blah, blah. So he was like, excuse me. And you know, my mom always said, don't talk to strangers, but don't, and don't stop either. I didn't stop, I kept walking. Tell me why the dude kept following me down the block. So he like, excuse me, and I'm like, yeah, but I'm walking, I'm like, was like everything okay dude follow me while i'm bopping i'm like yeah he like mm. i was like oh this is uncomfortable he like oh i need help getting here or blah 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 whatever street it was now to be honest i'm not really good with directions like if you ask me like maybe like which like how do i explain this when it comes to directions like i'm more a visual person so when it comes to like with you if you're writing something down or you need, I don't even know how to explain this, but point blank period, I'm not good with directions. And he was asking me a whole bunch of questions. Like, if I take this street, would I get this way and all this other shit? I'm 12, I don't drive, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, honestly, sir, I don't really know because I did And even if I did, I'm like, yo, like you're following me and I'm trying to bump and you just, and I was like, yeah, I don't know. Tell me why. He continues the conversation. Dude kept saying shit. Like he was like, you're mighty fine, you're mighty fine, or something like that. And I was like, excuse me, sir, I'm two years old. <laughs> like, I remember I told him, like, I remember that shit. I told him, I was like, excuse me, I'm two years old, please stop. <laughs> he goes, instead of stopping like a normal fucking person, dude kept trying it and kept trying me. He goes, you mighty fine for a two-year-old. Yo, I can't, I instantly start speeding. Start speeding, running, haul ass in, didn't give a fuck. Like, was done, was scared. It was like a whole Lifetime movie just was like happening. Start running. Tell me why old boy was at the corner waiting for me. I was like, my life flashed before my fucking eyes. Like, sis, like a bitch thought she was about to die. I'm not even going to lie. 
in my mind, I was like, oh my God, my life is a lifetime movie. Like, what's that shit? Missing at 17 and killed at 17. Like, all that shit they be doing, even though I was 12. Like, that's the type shit that I was thinking because that's the type movies that was coming out when I was 12. Missing and shit at 17 and 16. So, I was like, oh my God, I'm about to be missing at 12. Like, what the fuck? So, yeah, he followed me to the corner. And he's still saying shit, still talking. And th at this point, I'm... I put my earphones back on, but he's like, I hear him like saying little stuff. Like, I don't hear everything he's saying, but I hear him saying like little things. Like, why are you ignoring me and all this shit? And I just want directions and all this dumb ass shit. So I speed the fuck home. Like this time I'm like, oh, fuck no. So at this point, when he is, when he met me at the corner, I was in front of a church. I was at um, St. Gabe's Church, which is a church that's like, you know, a couple blocks away from my house. Like, the church is where I went to middle school at. Like, it's a school, and then there's, like, a church, like, r like right there. Like, right next to it. So, the church was here, and I was in front of the church. Dude met me at the church when I started running. So, he's still saying stuff. I put my earphones back on. Haul ass to my house. Like, running. Like, my life depended on that shit. Make it home. Lord. Bro. Make it home. Tell my mom sis really was about to die like maybe i wasn't about to die but i definitely felt like it because first of all how you gonna say like you know you ask for directions i'm like you know i don't know and usually a normal person would be like you know thank you have a good day you kept saying stuff and obviously bro you know i'm young like i have a whole i think i had a whole uniform on like a middle school uniform on. i'm walking home with my earphones trying to get home you bother me told you i don't know where that street was or wherever he was trying to go and then you start saying all this weird stuff you might have fine for a two-year-old bitch the fuck no because what if i was really two and you hitting on me and you like 40 you like 50 like 60 like what's wrong with you I can't believe he said that to me like i really was mad as shit like i remember i was i was scared but i was more upset when he said that shit because i didn't appreciate that what if i really was too and you saying oh you really you mighty fine for a two-year-old i don't appreciate that bro i didn't say that for you to say that back to me I said that so you can skirt and get the fuck out of my face. But instead, you want to continue to say some fuck ass shit. I don't appreciate that. That's disgusting. Like, that was just irritating. Like, it really was. Like, instead of being a normal person and just letting me go on about my day, you just you just kept talking and just kept talking and just... Uh, uh. And, you know, I was really upset, too, at that point. Obviously... I'm trying to listen to my music. Like I told y'all, y'all know that song, Don't Tell Me, like that, that beat, that beat, it, it kind of makes my eye twitch, but in a good way. Like when I twitch my eye, like I twitch this one eye, like watch this. When I twitch the one eye, that can usually mean two things. If I twitch it and I'm in front of like a dude and the dude's good looking, I'm twitching it because like, I'm so excited that he's so good looking and I can't even speak. All I can do is just twitch my fucking eye. That's that's one reason. Number two, I'm annoyed as shit. Don't feel like being bothered. Don't want to talk to you, whatever the case is. At that point, I was annoyed and I felt attacked and annoyed and everything else. So, and I was just trying to listen to my music, try and get home on my way home, try and go home, not be bothered, listen to my music, and do talking about, oh, you mighty fine for a two-year-old, and can you help me with this, and, but, you know, can you stop for a second, and all this, like, I ain't gonna lie though, dude had a really nice car, and he kind of gave me, like, sugar daddy slash pedophile vibes, if that make any sense, because dude had to be, like, a good 40, he gave me like i don't know why like sugar daddy vibes but also like a pedophile vibe you like you i don't know if y'all get what i'm saying but yeah that's that's what i felt because when i was 12 obviously didn't know what a sugar daddy was i knew sort of obviously what a pedophile was and rapist and all that other stuff but as i'm like getting older and i think about that moment i'm like dude gave me like pedophile but also like sugar daddy vibes and i'm like bro Number one, I don't know if he was trying to pick me up to be a little sugar baby, but I'm 12. 
I can't be no sugar baby at 12 years old. So let's, that's just number one. Number two, if you wanted me to be your sugar baby, you don't approach me when I'm 12 and you don't approach me in that manner. Just you rhyme and shit. And you like, hey, excuse me. Why you not talking to me? Oh, you ignore me. You might fall for two years. Like you don't approach a sugar baby in that way. So if you wanted me to be a sugar baby, even though I never will do that, that's not how you approach me, sweetie. I felt attacked. Shit, I was attacked. Shit, like, dude was following me. Like, that's disgusting. You don't do that. After the first encounter, you should have took your ass home to your wife and kids that you probably had. You probably got four kids and everything and a whole wife. Like, she probably was waiting for you and shit. Probably just got off work. And probably was like, hmm, where's my husband? Well, sweetie, your husband's trying to heal on 12 year old, and I didn't appreciate that. He definitely was trying to do something because if he really needed directions and I didn't fucking know it, he could have been like, oh, like, have a good day. Like, you know, da da da. Not you keep following me and all that weird shit. No, don't appreciate that. I felt attacked. That was disgusting. But thank God that's over because that shit was really creepy. And I truly felt like I was about to get kidnapped. Like, I don't know if some people are going to be like, she being dramatic. No, no. <laughs> no. Because in that moment, my life was a Lifetime movie. And y'all all know what happened on Lifetime movies. Bitches get killed, be missing at 17, and then get hit by the car, and then they sleeping with the teacher, but the teacher hit them with the car, and my life was a Lifetime movie at that point, and I had to get out of that movie and scurry off, and I'm so glad that that man, I guess, finally took the hint after I hauled ass the, like, the third time and was just speeding. He probably was like, oh, oh, well, I... I probably made her feel uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> like, <laughs> you should have stopped the first time. But no, you want to be. There was no need for that. I'm 12. I'm trying to listen to my old iPod. Stop bothering me. You know, I didn't, didn't need or want that. But you know it's okay. We're over it. We're good. We we 22 and thriving now. We not dead. We not missing at 12. We good. But back then, shh, sis was scared for her fucking life, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was scary as hell. Like in that moment, when you in the moment and you like thinking like, oh my god, bro. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. Cause we here because I don't even know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this story time. That shit was crazy. But um, I'll see you guys later. Be safe out here. Don't be talking to strangers, especially if you are 12, you know, the ages of 12 and 13. Don't be out here walking alone. Don't be walking with your earphones loud as shit. You can't hear somebody sneak up behind you. It can't hear a car beeping or whatever the case is. Just please be careful, ladies. Young ladies, please be careful if somebody asks you for directions. You know, never stop. Always keep walking. Even if they're still talking to you, keep walking. If you ever feel uncomfortable, run the fuck home. Call somebody while you're running. Call the cop. Whatever you got to do, get yourself out that situation. Don't, just don't. Don't end up like the Lifetime movies and shit. Don't, don't do that. But see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed that story. Can you not? I'll see y'all later.